Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this reading, I am using the Morgan Greer deck. So I just want to get some insight into the upcoming week and what kind of energies we're going to be encountering and how we can make the most of those energies. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first card, which represents Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. And we've got the Two of Wands. So we're starting off the week in what I would call contemplation mode. So um, contemplating kind of what you want to do next. So sometimes this, um, this will happen when you've just sort of finished a particular phase or you've finished a particular project and you're kind of in that sort of in-between phase in your life where you're like okay you know what's next um, where should I put my attention and energy next so a lot of contemplating this week and I feel like this will actually be a big theme throughout the week is contemplation and contemplating uh, basically kind of um, where you want to go next so what's important to you and um, you know where you want to put your energies but I feel like I feel like we're all you know everyone who's watching this right now I think we're all sort of we've all um, I guess I'll say ascended to that place where it's no longer okay for you to put your energy and attention on things that don't have meaning for you so you're in this much more intentional phase of your life right now where um where it's important to for you to really question and think about what it is you're doing and to make sure whatever it is you're doing it's in alignment with your your greater goal or your greater um you know purpose in life and making sure that you know your actions and and um your deeds and everything are in alignment with your your core values and you know what what you want to see in the world okay so moving on to the middle of the week so wednesday thursday Ooh, and we've got the sun and this is I love this card this is one of my favorites um, and whenever it shows up in a reading I think it kind of empowers or adds a certain kind of sparkle or shine to the to all the other um, surrounding cards so I feel like the sun um, has appeared this week because this is sort of for many of us a um, kind of like a, a good luck week so I think a lot of us are going to be um, feeling pretty lucky this week you might um, there might be particular opportunities or ideas that come to you that have a great impact um, on your life moving forward. But most importantly, um, this card brings the, the ability to see things through a fresh pair of eyes. So to look at the world with that sort of um, childlike innocence and curiosity. And this is really powerful. So I feel like many of us are going to be changing how we see things. And this usually comes when you are starting to let go of judgments and you're starting to release um, your tendency to look at things with a critical eye and instead look at things with a more uh, inquisitive eye. So it's very different, um, you know, looking at things critically versus looking at things inquisitively or curiously. Um, and as you do that, you start to embody this um, this lighter, more youthful, innocent kind of energy, which um, affects all areas of your life. And I'm going to come back to this card, but I want to move on to the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we've got three of pentacles. I'm just going to move things around here. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles comes when you finally found a project that you deem worthy and you're willing to put your all into it and you're willing to really focus and um, do whatever it takes. And uh, this card also represents um, being really engaged in the present moment and seeing value in... Um, what you're doing now rather than just the outcome so if you're if you have a job that's really um, satisfying for you you're going to be engaged in that job and you're not so much going to be focused on the outcome or any benefits that are coming later but you're just in the present moment enjoying what you're doing right now 
actually whenever I see this card I think of how I feel when I'm working on a painting that I'm really enjoying um, and I'll, I'll just be really into it and really engrossed in it and nothing else really matters and at the end I might have a beautiful painting but that wasn't really necessarily the whole um, my whole purpose for doing it it was that feeling of being really deeply engaged with something um, and being you know really really present and being in that feeling like you know when you're just sort of in the zone so I think it's different for everyone like what activities bring about this feeling for me it's drawing and painting it puts me in the zone where you're sort of in that um, kind of in that place where you're just really focused and really like time goes by really really fast um, for you it might be something totally different it might be dancing or music or um, writing or whatever um, but I feel like this weekend it's important to do activities that let you get in that zone whatever that is for you um, because when you're in that zone um, you're it's a, it's a very nurturing experience and it's like your soul is being fed and you could just recharge your batteries when you when you engage in activities that let you get to this this place so um, this weekend you know seek out activities that that let you get in the zone um, okay so I'm gonna take a step back and look at all of these cards together I notice um, the first thing I notice actually is that the first card the guy in the first card and the guy in the last card they're looking in the same direction um, so the beginning of the week is all about contemplating where you want to put your energy I feel like by the end of the week you know wh what you want to do you're really clear on where you're gonna put your energy um, and then the middle card there's the two faces um, looking at each other and I'm not really sure what to make of this so um, <laughs> I'm sure if I sat here for longer and you know contemplated I, I could come up with something but if you have any ideas of what this could mean um, by all means let me know in the comment section I'd love to hear your take on it um, I'm just gonna see if I can see anything else that jumps out at me there's a lot of spherical symbols here like we've got um, this you know looks like a crystal ball or a globe or something that he's holding here um, and then we've got this the sphere of the Sun we even have the Sun flowers which are kind of circular and then we've got this the three Pentacles um, so I feel like there's a lot of circles which makes me think of you know coming full circle so completing a cycle but also about attaining that sense of wholeness um, and I mean circles I could probably go on and on about the symbolism of circles <laughs> um, and what they could mean but those are just the two meanings that kind of popped out at me um, I'm also noticing a lot of yellows a lot of oranges and reds in this reading and to me that um, that makes me think of sort of passion and action it makes me think of the the lower two chakras the base chakra and the like the root chakra and then the sacral chakra um, and and also yellow I think is the the solar plexus chakra so it makes me think of all those things like um, that are important like grounding creativity and will and action so I feel like your week is probably going to be filled with those things so sort of getting grounded which I think is is represented by the first card um, getting grounded and kind of w what you want to create and then um, you know moving to that place of creativity which we kind of see in the the last card here um, so yeah an exciting week ahead of you um, it looks very positive very promising week um, so yes have a beautiful week good luck and um, thank you for watching my name is Kate and you can um, visit my website dailytarotgirl.com and I've got all kinds of fun uh, tarot exercises for you there I've got tarot videos tarot spreads all kinds of fun stuff so if you're interested check it out okay have a good week